Yo, welcome back to a new video everyone. A little bit different for a POV for me today. I'm recording this voiceover three days later while I edit the video. I thought I would just drop this commentary over the top of the photos, explain what I thought about the photos, why I took the photos, uh, just change the style up a little bit. The audio is really bad from the GoPro footage because it was really windy in London, so that's why I'm doing this commentary. I do sound really nasally, so I apologize about that. I woke up this morning with a cold. Not much we can do about it. Just mute the video if you want. In this video, you'll see I'm using the Canon R6 with the 10 to 22 wide lens and the 50mm 1.8. Wandering around Canary Wharf to start with before we head into the city. I meet up with Pete as well, who's a familiar face on this YouTube channel. Pretty chilled day in London, to be fair. So while you're still listening to me waffle on, please hit that like button. I appreciate it. And comment down below if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, that's it. Enjoy the video. So starting off the shoot at the Canary Wharf Underground Station, just putting on the 50, I mean the 10 to 22, as you can see, and I'm using the Wandred PRVKE bag, I think it's called, the 31 litre for those that are interested. But I didn't really bring much gear with me today, so not much else to talk about gear-wise. Um, the reason I'm changing to the wide lens is because of this huge escalator set. Is it a set of escalators? Is that what you call it? But look how sick this looks, straight off the bat. I think I've peaked. This is the best best photo of the video. And we just started. Um, so yeah, just getting a couple of different angles on this. I'll put the settings on screen as well throughout this video so you can see, see what settings I was using to take all the photos. Other than the first few escalator shots you've just seen that looked pretty sick, there's a couple of photos coming up here that are just like bang average. And I think it's about um, warming up when you're going out and doing street photography. You can't expect to take amazing photos first try. So these, these photos here aren't anything to shout about, but I always find it useful to just press the shutter a couple of times, get a few bad photos out of the way. So if you are out and about doing street photography, don't expect to take amazing photos first try. It just never really happens. It normally takes a little while to uh, get into the swing of things. Really stoked on these lookup shots, to be fair. The 10 to 22 really come in clutch. Uh, these lookup shots in Canary Wharf actually are probably my favorite photos of the entire day. Um, so the video gets worse from here because these are the best photos, I think. Uh, I'm a big fan of lookup shots. I think this stuff looks sick. You'll see me now change over to the 50mm. Uh, I like to swap lenses throughout this video, so using the 10 to 22 and the 50mm. But I've got a quick question for you guys. Please leave a comment below. What lens do you think I should get next? I'm stuck between a 35mm and an 85mm. I think I'm gonna get an 85mm, but I'm not entirely sure. So throw some suggestions in the comments. What do you think? What do you think I'll like? Uh, I'd love to hear your opinion. If you watch my videos quite a bit, you'll know this guy. This is Pete Jobson, great street photographer. And he just started a YouTube channel last month. So please do go over to his channel, hit subscribe. At the time of recording this, he's on like 170 something. So go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe to Pete. You won't regret it, he's got some good content.
This spot right here is super famous. Just go to Canary Wharf. It's not hard to find. It's just this really long tunnel. Lots of symmetry, lots of leading lines. It looks great. I didn't really know what photos to take because I've been there a few times before. So everything kind of looks the same, but I just decided to get an easy portrait. I mean, an easy product shot of Pete's camera just to utilize the leading lines and the colors and stuff. So yeah, nothing crazy, but nice, simple photo of the camera. The audio from the GoPro was actually okay during this part, so enjoy me uh, rambling or chatting shit about the photo that I'm taking right here. So we're just outside of the main square in Canary Wharf, and you might recognize this little spot if I turn around. Facing the Big Easy, we've got the city building HSBC in the background. I think this calls for the 10 to 22 to go on. Very simple. Currently using the 50 mil, but for a spot like this, you want to be using a wide lens for sure. So 50 mil goes in the bag, 10 to 22 goes on. Always put your lens caps on, people. This location is definitely not unique in any way, but we're here, so why not? This is where wide angles really come in clutch. That's sick. Nice and wide. Boom. Right, this little spot coming up, uh, really random, but I was getting liminal vibes from this place. If you don't know what liminal spaces are, I made a video all about it uh, not too long ago, so go check that out. But yeah, just getting like eerie, empty vibes from this place. Uh, I don't know what it was, just a corridor in the underground in Canary Wharf, but uh, I, I just liked it. So here's some really random photos, but. <laughs> so as we headed into Borough Market, I was not expecting it to be this busy. I've, I've not seen this many people in one place since before, you know what, before it all kicked off. But yeah, this was really random. I didn't get any good photos while I was in this spot just because I think that's quite stressful being around this many people. Obviously, we was contributing to the traffic. I'm not blaming everyone for being out. But um, yeah, just really busy. I didn't actually get any decent photos until we got through to the other side. Uh, and I noticed the shard and this underground sign. So yeah, I like this shot coming up. I uh, absolutely love this photo coming up. I really love the compression on the 50 mil, the, the building on the left, the building on the right, and then the walkie-talkie in the background. It just provides a couple of layers. So I took a minute trying to compose this image, just seeing what I could do, but I just really like how weird it looks. I don't know, there's something about this photo. After a few walkie-talkie images, I head towards uh, the Lloyds building, I think it's Lime Street, uh, where the gherkin is and all that, and I take some of the classic shots that I've taken a million times before. But it's right near the train station on my way home, so I thought why not just finish off the POV video by taking a few easy look-up shots. So I'm a big fan of this kind of stuff. Uh, I started the video with some look-up shots and ending the video with some look-up shots.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got this far, leave a comment down below saying uh, chicken and bacon bagel. That was really random, but I'm eating. I'm about to eat a chicken and bacon bagel. So if you got this far, comment down below and prove it. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the support is really appreciated. The last two months on YouTube have been the best two months that I've ever had. So uh, it's really appreciated. And I've said that a million times. Uh, it's really appreciated. Boo. <laughs> anyway, um, that's enough of me rambling. Click like, subscribe. You guys are the best. I'll see you very soon. Peace. Thank you.